Hi, I'm Jay from Builderoo.com here at Intersolar at San Francisco Moscone Center. I'm here with Mark from Shitten. Um, hi, Mark. How are you doing? Very well, thank you. So, uh, can you tell me a little bit about your product? Uh, Shooten makes a uh, industrial strength solar panel. We have two basic products. One is the standard solar panel that you see in most of the show here. We also make a very beautiful architectural glass product called Optisol. Uh, the standard module is called Multisol. Uh, the the Multisol panel is a very highly de designed uh, industrial strength module. It, it meets uh, some severe strength requirements. We handle 110 pounds per square foot. Mm -hmm. Very popular, we're finding, in the Gulf Coast area, hurricane requirements. A lot of uh, the local zoning requires a much stronger panel. We're, we designed it basically for ice and snow, but it works for wind and flying objects, etc., hail that as well, too. Okay. Uh, and the, uh, the other feature of our, our module that's really uh, important is that uh, we have a very narrow band of, of power production. Uh, most panels are plus or minus five percent. We're actually plus or minus two and a half watts. Okay. So it's a, which is about one and a quarter percent, which is a lot much lower variance uh, that you have in the product. Uh, the Optisol product we're very excited about. It's a beautiful architectural product that uh, that fits very nicely. Most architects want to hide the solar on the roof. Uh, this is something you can really be proud of. We've done a number of very large projects in Europe with it and it's very well received and, and actually beautiful. Okay, can we actually take a look at it right now? Sure. Sure. Here's, here's a demo sample of our product and, and uh, it, it basically uh, is, is the standard cell, so you actually get the same efficiency out of our panels as as you would out of uh, out of a standard panel. What what the architect controls is the spacing and the layout of of the cells. We've actually done projects where uh, uh, the panel the the cells are actually close up together or, or farther apart. We've actually done one project in Paris that was uh, it was a hotel where they actually they appear to be randomly spaced in the in the panel. He wanted to match. Rock walls, mm -hmm. and uh, we we did that. We we both we make a custom panel mm -hmm. uh, of the Optisol product, and we also have standard sizes that we have for uh, both roof sides and and uh, spandrel applications. Great, great. So where are you located, and do you distribute here in the United States? We are the U.S. distributor for shooting. Uh, we dis we're based in Rancho Santa Margarita, although we're doing business all over the country, actually, as you can tell by Florida reference. The... Uh, uh, we're, yeah, we're distributing primarily here in California, and and uh, and, and and we're going to the states that have uh, the incentives, basically Colorado, Arizona, uh, New Jersey, uh, Pennsylvania, uh, New York, and Florida. We actually have some nice projects in Florida that we're working on the Gainesville feed and tariff. Great, great. So, um, are there any toxic byproducts that that is created? through the process of making your solar panels and are you doing anything to mitigate those effects? Uh, we are a German, uh, we're actually a Dutch company but we manufacture in Germany. Uh, we're very sensitive to those issues obviously. I'm, I'm an economist, I'm the financial guy, I'm not technically uh, the, the technical representative. I do know that the company itself is very uh, is very concerned with that issue. We actually had a presentation uh, earlier this year from the guys who wrote Cradle to Cradle uh, that uh, that discussed that. And it's it's not a trivial problem. It's a very toxic environment that these cells are manufactured in, and they have to be handled properly. Uh, we do everything obviously to keep our employees safe, and we also recycle as much of those uh, as possible. Uh, but there are toxic materials. There's no avoiding that in in the actual process of manufacturing. But we're doing the best we can, and and you know Germans are very sensitive to that issue. So I assume our engineers are as rigorous there as they are in everything else they've done. Great, great. So is there anything new coming out? Uh, we are uh, talking. Uh, uh, we actually got into the thin film area. We have some unique processes uh, that we have. Uh, uh, we're we're developing some unique technology on the thin film side. It's a it's a solution I've never seen anywhere else before. It's not. I mean, there's a lot of thin film out there now, but this is actually kind of a unique uh, a unique thing, and that's something you could probably look forward to in the near future.
Great, great. Okay, so um, I'm, that was Mark from Shooting, and I'm Jay from Builderoo.com. Please check more of our videos on our website. Thank you.